All right, Libra, welcome to your December 2023 tarot reading. My name is Jeff here at Raise Your Vibration TV. We are going to get some intuitive guidance on what we need to do to navigate this month. We are going to pull many cards from many different decks. We're going to lay it all on the line for you, Libra. We're going to get messages from spirit, guides, you name it. <clears throat> We're bringing it to the table. So welcome. Let's get down to it. Change the reading style for the month, but nothing to fear. 24 karat guidance here. I like how I rhyme. Let's do it. All right. We got the nine of swords reversed. We got the page of pentacles reversed and we have the wheel upright. Okay. So we're definitely, we definitely have luck on our side this month, Libra. So good for you. We also are not being, too, we're not too grounded right now. And that's because we want a way out of this anxiety that we're feeling. And there may be a fear of failure that you're finally ready to let go of. And to actually, this is the overall energy for the month, what you need to do. And that is to shine as brightly as the sun and actually walk away from these things, anxiety and fear, fear, doubt, and worry. I release fear, doubt, and worry. I replace it with love, joy, and peace. Let's get the outcome cards. Okay. So what we got going on here, we got the five of pentacles reversed. We have the sun, the eight of cups, the seven of wands reversed, and the high priestess. So this energy is definitely on your side, especially when you're using your intuition. Your strongest, your strongest quality for the month is to shine as brightly as the sun. The sun does not ask permission to shine, Libra. It just fucking does. And that's the message you need to understand we are also walking away towards the sun to a new horizon, which will actually free a karmic cycle for you here. But you're feeling ungrounded. So get out there and ground. If you are in a climate where you can ground, then I would highly suggest that you do it. All right, I'm going to pull some clarifiers to see what's going on with this energy. It's good news because... You, you know, you've been upset about something. There's been a fear that's been blocking you and it's made you ungrounded, but you can get grounded by being confident that you're moving in the right direction. So understand that message, Libra. We're already at almost three minutes and that's what you need to do is there is a release of fear and anxiety we're moving on from it. We're trusting our intuition, letting the universe guide us. We are no longer setting up boundaries that harm us. That's what that seven of wands means. So let's get some clarifiers and see exactly what else we need to know for this month for Libra. Oh, damn. Wow. Okay, let's get those. All right. We have the three of pentacles. This is working. You're doing the work. And actually, people are going to notice it, especially when you're shining as brightly as the sun. It's calling for faith here. This could also mean a spiritual union. This could also mean a coming together of two energies. This can also mean you meeting somebody. So single Libras out there may meet somebody. Nine of Pentacles is acting as if. That is the other clarified energy. We have to have faith and act as if. And when I say act as if, what I'm saying, Libra, is if you want something to appear in your reality, you have to act as if you already received it. If you want to be rich, you have to act rich. And acting rich is allowing abundance into your life. You don't worry about money or focus on lack or debt. You look at you coming out of it. The four of wands is, again, another signal about a relationship. We'll get to that a little later. We're going to pull the love cards for that. But you can see how this is progressing. I mean, you're doing the work. You're putting the faith into it. You're acting as if. Some of you may be moving. Some of you may be re redecorating your home. This could be something that you're working on together with your partner. Um, this could be an effort 
that you make together that's really needed? And what were you fearing and having all the anxiety about anyway? That could be for some of you. But the main message here is to let go of anxiety, fear, doubt, and worry and replace it with confidence and happiness and acting as if, being grateful for what you have. It's the perfect time of year for that, wouldn't you say? Yep, that balance card always wants to come out for you, Libra. Always to remind you exactly what we need to do. It's always focusing on balance. So we're going to put that card right in the middle here. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. All right. So we are getting rid of the decept we, uh, disruption. Could be deception for some of you. See, we're working hard to find balance in our lives now. And shining as brightly as the sun is, is exactly what you need to do. Um, there is a new beginning on its way. Okay. Not only that, but we have the destiny card. That's come out twice. That's the wheel. That's come out twice. There's something faded that is happening here. Um, spiritual union. Again, the Hierophant, the home card. I don't need the lover's card out here to tell me what's going on. We're going to get to that later, but there's triumph. That's all you need to do. If you act as if you are triumphant, that is profound. Let's get some prism oracles and see what we got for the month. What else do we have? There's definitely something here about a relationship that we're moving on from. We're finding balance in it. Finally, you know, there's new beginnings and it's opening a lot of things up for you Libras. That's great. We haven't had a positive reading for a Libra in a long time. Wow, I knew that fear card was going to come out. I knew it. Fear, doubt, and worry causes disruption in your life. Okay. Yeah, let's release the fear and anger. Let's release it. Let's release it. It's causing disruption. Work hard to find balance. You see how these all link together? I love this because there's new beginnings here. You're closing out a cycle. And all you need to do is focus on success, Libra. This is incredible. This is powerful. This is very positive. Not many steps for you to take. Releasing this is probably the biggest one, but I'm telling you, once you walk away from it, you are going to be a changed person and good for you. You deserve it. Now, let's get down to business. Let's see what's going on in the love department because the spiritual union card came out. Lots of things came out. The hero fan card, the four of wands, the destiny card twice. Something's up here. Let's see what's going on with the relationships. Either there's one, if you're in a relationship, it is definitely going to move out of stuck energy and move into a higher, better energy. Oh my God, we got the hero fan twice. Oh my effing God. All right, look at this. We got the two of swords and the two of wands. And we also have the two of cups here. That's what that is. So pay attention to two, two, two. Those numbers are telling you, uh, that you're making progress. The hero fan card, again, there is some kind of faded relationship. You are not stuck. It's time to start looking at your past and saying, I'm in the way of this. I can allow this to happen. And there's celebration and joy. This could be somebody that you um, already know. This could be a friend moving from the friend zone to the oh boy zone. You know what I mean? Which is really good. So you're not stuck. Maybe there's some of you thinking, you know, I'm I'm really I'm really hell bent on my friend. I mean, we've gotten I've I've gotten feels for him. You know what I mean? And all of a sudden something happens. You know what I mean? And the holidays can bring about that, you know. So just be aware of that, Libra. But there is definitely for some of you singles out there, when you get rid of the disruption and feeling like you're stuck, you move on and success is going to be yours. It's all over this table. It's all over this table. It's like fate is stepping in. Let's get some messages of love. Hmm. Interesting. Support. Lean on your inner circle during this time. That could be this card right here. 
We have an apology for some of you. You can expect the apology you want to hear. Some of you may be thinking you're never going to hear it, and you will. The timing will be right, and it will finally close a door in a relationship that you already have and open it to a better one. Definitely, you Libras are leveling up in love. There's no fucking doubt about that. Trust. It is safe to trust in this situation. The high priestess for the outcome is to trust your intuition also. It will lead you to your destiny. There's three three things here, four things here. The Hierophant card twice and the Destiny card twice. You can't make this shit up. New love. A new love or recommitment to love is developing. That is going to be happening for Libras across the board. Wow. That's incredible. All right. Let's go ahead and get a final message for Libra. So let's focus on balance. Let's get rid of the disruption you're causing. It's not the other person. If there was something that happened, don't worry about it. The apology is going to happen. Just be successful. Focus on being success. If you're having troubles in your relationship, things will balance out. It will. There's a recommitment developing. And if you are single, there is love. And I do believe it's from your inner circle. All right. Achievement. Look at that. Completion. Reward. That's That's like the destiny card again. That's all you need to focus on. Some of you Libras are almost close to the finish line. You are almost ready to complete. And when Jupiter on January 1st goes direct, everyone gets reward of some kind. So this is a very positive reading. One of the one of the positive, most positive readings I've done so far. So congratulations, Libra. Now let's focus on balance. Let's get rid of the disruption and move on because love is going to be of prime successful focus for you. If you focus on being successful in love, you will be. Trust me on that, Libra. All right. That's going to do it for your monthly reading, uh, tarot reading. I'm doing so many readings, I don't know which one I'm doing. This is the tarot reading. Go ahead and watch your horoscope. It's out at the same time with this reading. Don't forget, now I'm doing weekly readings. And I, I hope a lot of you like that because I feel... You know, there's too much of a gap between us. I'll throw these readings out at the beginning of the month and then it's crickets, you know. And I think that being on point with a week-to-week -week reading will actually benefit all of us because I'm keeping in contact with you. I'm keeping in contact with your energy. And uh, I really like it and I hope you appreciate it. So hit that like button. Subscribe if you don't subscribe, please, because we get a lot of spam accounts and this count is up and down and it's crazy. It's crazy. They got to clean that shit up. But anyway, Libra, have a great holiday. I wish you and yours the best. And I will see you soon. Thank you so much.